I have a new story for you today. This morning, I was, um, I just came out of my bed, and when I got out here, and look what I found. A giant snail. It's very big, and I don't want to touch it. And I don't want to touch it because maybe uh, some things the snail will uh, go back to its shell. This is the great opportunity because the head of the snail went out. So take a look at that snail. Isn't that big? It's almost as big as my fist. And take a look at my fist. Take a comparison of it. See? It's almost as big as my fist. It's, it's really big. So now, let us transfer this snail to this cardboard and this cardboard to be transferred to that table. the slime. Oh! So now, the snail is inside its shell again. And, as what you have seen, the head of the snail was like a piece of wood. But as you saw, it went back in, so that means it is the head of the snake. So take a look at this. That is what... There's the snail over there. Fun fact, snails can have lungs and gills at the same time. Because we get snails sometimes from the sea sometimes in the ocean and somewhere that has water so maybe this one has a lung and some gills i believe snails have their important part in the ecosystem so whenever we see a snail we should let them do their thing we should not smash them we should only let them do their thing we should not smash them and kill them. Let them do their thing. And now let us set this snail free. set it free. That's all about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Aww.